the pin, and the middles are right there stepping up. And it's match point. And it's a state title. For the first time ever, the Galena Pirates are state champions. tomorrow morning's going to bring me. I've been having the same dream now for about 20 years and it just came through about 1130 today. So. Did we have bumps in the road? Yes, we did. Did we get through them? Yes, we did. There's no losing today. No, there is not. We're not going to let that happen. You know, quality opponent. We know that. Don't get here by being quality. We know how we're going to attack them. We don't care if it goes two or if it goes three. But we're taking this match. We will do this. We play hard, we play smart, and we play like a team as we've had all year. You guys get to be the first team in history to do this at Galena. Ready to go? Yes! Let's go do it. Let's go. Parts on three. One, two, three, parts. A month before that, when I had all the girls together here and I told them, you guys, we are a state caliber team. We can be a state caliber team. And not sure they all bought into it at that time, but uh, gradually as we worked our way through that last three or four weeks before the state tournament, all of a sudden they started believing. And uh, as coaches, we started believing. It's like, you know what? It's going to take a good team to beat us if we play our game. Wanted us. He always said that. Like, before regionals, before like every match, he always said, why not us? But we all knew we had to like get going and like push through. And then when we got the lead, I think Addie hit the girl in the head and it, you could tell in their faces that they were scared. I was very confident. Like my parents always tell me to just like play like an animal and play like no one's watching and just to have fun. That's why I get so like excited and have a lot of enthusiasm because I just want to have fun. Like I have a lot of passion for this game. And then I stepped on the court on the championship match and I was like, no way this is happening right now. It was crazy. The crowd was wild and we just had so much energy. It was crazy. I think you could look up at like in the stands and anywhere you looked, you would see blue. And I, going into that game, I think we all wanted to win it for everyone that was there for us. Just knowing that we had that support and all of those people behind us, that's like something that I definitely will never forget. After our first game, I was a little worried because it was a little rough. I think that if you told us going into the season that we were going to win a state championship, I don't think I would have ever believed you. Like, I would have put my life on it. After Coach talked to us after that Warren game, he kind of explained like we weren't playing to our best ability and we were so much better than that. And I would say from that point on, like, we all had like a mindset shift. We knew we were so much better. And so just knowing that, like, we improved that much throughout the season is insane to me. We were in a good position going into the state tournament and we made changes throughout the year to get to where we wanted to be going into the state tournament. I think it was actually like seven matches before we started the state tournament. We actually had everything in place. Condition, they were well conditioned. They were ready to play physically wise, but it's mental. Uh, we went there that Thursday and practiced that morning and uh, it might have been one of our worst practices all year. <laughs> but it was because of that environment and the lights and everything being different in the big stage. And then we went to a gym after that and we got back into our group. They just got better every game. Just, it was just amazing how they gelled and peaked at just the right time. Coach was telling us, like, just go out there and play your game. Don't worry about what others are saying or thinking. Just go out and play your game and do what you know how to do. The second set of the last game, I looked at Addie and I was like, oh my God, like we're actually gonna do this. I think around 22, I really felt like, this is gonna happen now. Yeah. I remember my heart was beating so fast while I was out there and then I don't play front row, so I subbed out. Leah and Nevaeh were sitting next to me, and I was like, we're about to win a state championship. I told myself I wasn't gonna cry. I couldn't prepare for that. Well, me and Julia and Addie were talking like, we've been playing together for the third grades. Like, how cool would it be if we ended 
our volleyball careers together on a win. I was personally ready for it to just like come over, nice easy ball, we we're gonna pass it up, I was gonna set it to one of my hitters and it was gonna be like a hard kill and that was gonna be the game, it was gonna be so exciting and they went in the net and I was like, oh my gosh, we just won. The dog pile after the game, just knowing, like laying there on the floor, knowing that like we had just won a state championship is something that you only get to experience maybe once in a lifetime. Like I say, I don't know if it's totally set in or not that, you know, we've won state. You know, that's the ultimate goal of any volleyball program or any program in any sport is to win the state tournament. And uh, I was driving by school the other day and looked over, saw the big rock with football. I was like, hey, we can be on that now, you know. It's just stuff like that that it hits you that we won the state championship. It's just pretty awesome. We made history. Like, it's huge. Like, it's absolutely huge. When I was in sixth grade, the Galena girls volleyball team went to state, and I just remember watching them in that Redbird Arena, and that's exactly what I wanted to do. And so knowing that other girls that same young age that I was are having that same experience and probably have the same drive that I did that to get there is just amazing, knowing that I get to influence them like that. It builds our program, and it starts now. Kids nowadays, they look at us, right, and they like want to be us, and seeing that our hard work pays off, that makes hopefully makes them want to work hard and show them that this could be them they just have to work for it and i think it's huge being able to do this for the community has been incredible and i i can't thank them enough for everything they've done for us